back to the eyes of Ra. Tonight, man, we uh we trying to let things really just digest that we're all just simply confused and scared. safe. As long as you keep living, you're going to learn something different. You're going to figure out you know, easier ways to do things. You're going to figure out or you're going to bump your head the times that you need to bump your head, but at the same time, we be looking for, for people to answer questions that they're still searching for the answers for. So like we gotta really just quit being like, just dumb all around and understand who we are, what we want, what we need. And then go from there. But see, we uh, we get things confused simply because like, we search for the next, like hottest person to tell us an opinion. When in reality, we just, we're learning from all experiences. And that's from all spectrums. It's not narrowed down. People are just simply scared to just say like, I don't know. But then they're also scared to figure things out. People like to be spoon fed, but then those that actually take the spoon that learn how to cook the dish, they understand life in a totally different sense. They know that they constantly have to test life and learn new things simply in order just to stay alive. They're not waiting for the information, they're going to get the information. You have to understand we're all on borrowed time, so everything that we're doing <clears throat> We have to make the most of there's countless people that again thought they had tomorrow thought they had the next hour the next 20 30 minutes and didn't and didn't and they was some of them was where they wanted to be but of course they didn't want to pass away so soon but a lot of a lot of times People don't die happy. People die miserable. And the majority of the time, that's from listening to other people. And granted, you can get some of the great advice, the most substantial advice ever imaginable. But it takes you, you yourself, to be willing to open up to that knowledge, open up to that understanding, open up to the opinion, and then progress on the act, the work behind it. And I sit on your ass and just be like, yo, I don't, I don't understand. I did the same number of videos they did. Like, okay, but did you actually put the time to effort? None of that. You was just trying to wait on the glory. Right, so therefore you made yourself depressed instead of trying to evolve and form a, a understanding with yourself that you are your biggest fan and you are your worst enemy. Because we all know that people are not going to like us. That is, that's a given. If everybody in the world likes you, that means your fate. That means you can absorb to anything. And I'm not saying that Sometimes that's a bad thing because in business, sometimes you got to move like a chameleon. And I'm saying that, I'm not saying that being a chameleon is fake. I'm saying absorbing every 
assumption, opinion, or anything, and just eat it up as fact behind your morals, your standards, your values, and you know, etc. Because a lot of people lose themselves for an opinion, lose everything about life. Man, my leg itch like a motherfucker, man. Y'all got yeah, it. <laughs> but anyway, like a lot of people just, they lose themselves behind the opinion. Therefore, they just lose their life. And, they, and the sad thing is they never knew who they was in the first place because they never got to that point. It's a... It's a crazy thing how most religions tell you not to chase idols. But that's pretty much all that you see nowadays. Is that they want to give you somebody to idolize and to, to chase out there. And follow every breaking word as is law. And then they strip you of personal opinion. Therefore, putting the notion to a higher status. But that's an agenda that is for another day. But the thing is, sometimes you just need to detach and just be like, you know what? Just forget the internet. Forget all the shit that come with it. And then really just sit back and be like, what do I like? What do I enjoy? What makes me tick? Because then you can understand how you need to move and who you need to move with. Because if you don't need to move with nobody, then don't move with nobody. If you can move with certain people, then you move with certain people. But one thing you don't have to do is search for opinion to follow when you can just sort out the, the information yourself. You can go experience life the good, the bad, the ugly, the mistakes, the peaks. I mean, you can enjoy it all because all of it is going to teach you something that you can pass on to the next. But you know, it will be with fluidity and not assertive assumptiveness. Motherfuckers out here just spew anything because they have money back them or they have power back them and the mass eats it up, especially black people. Black people fight for everything, everything but for themselves. And that shit is crazy. But again, that's a whole nother topic. But we as people have to understand we have to quit chasing opinions. Find the facts. Find who you are and understand nobody has the answers. And if they do, they gotta at least be 20,000 years old. At least. But find yourself. Don't find opinions. Anything in life you can experience too. Quit being that motherfucker that's sitting on the sideline. I'm not saying that you're better than nobody, but I'm also not saying that you're worse than anybody. So therefore, you got the same opportunities. Just gotta get off your ass, get on your feet and handle your business. Most important, learn. Not for the sake of using manipulation, but learn for yourself. Confidence does more than just wonders. Quit being half. And give yourself a whole person. But you know what it is, dog. I love y'all, man. Until next time.